Now, I'm delighted to be joined here at Stradbrook by Longford Town Manager Dara Doyle. Dara, you said you wanted a response from your players last week. You certainly got one tonight. Yeah, listen, a really good performance. We, I think everyone was disappointed with the performance last week after going 2 0 up in a game that we were, let's be fair, we were, we were cruising in and it was so disappointing. And listen, it was, it was a massive letdown to everybody there that night. The crowd that came in to support us, that we lost the game in that manner. We, we knew as a group that it wasn't acceptable to drop goals the way we did in that game. We've gone this season where we'd only conceded from two set pieces all season and we're not being an issue. And then within a 16 minutes well, we can see four set pieces and it hasn't been like us, but like I say, maybe it's been a crazy year and there's been some crazy games and listen, that was one of those. And tonight we have, we've put in a performance. We've had to change things slightly with the one or two knocks and injuries that we've had. So some players have come in and done really well there tonight. We've put in a strong performance throughout tonight. We've dominated the game. And I think we've got our just rewards with, with three points, a clean sheet, and um, three goals. We started the game well, you know, there's talk of, of who got the first goal, whether it was Matt O'Brien or Rob did get a touch. From my view on the camera, it looked like he didn't, but Rob is adamant he did, so we'll have to look back on that. But even still, you know, Matt O'Brien only 17 in that position, getting a great crossing like that and causing problems for the keeper eventually. Yeah, whether he gets a touch on it or not, I don't know. I personally think it possibly went straight in. I don't know what I was really happy with, Rob, is that he makes that run across the front post, and that's what puts the keeper off and makes him force a mistake for the goal that happened. I don't care who gets the goals. It's, it's important that they do come throughout the team. And listen, it was great to see you and Matthew O'Brien go in there today. I thought he had an excellent game in the middle of the park. His decision making in possession was very good. He was unlucky possibly not to score another one, but the keeper had a good save for him. So really happy with Matthew coming into the squad and put in a performance that, that we knew he was capable of. As you said, you had to change a few things up due to injuries and yeah. other things, you know. And one of the things I noticed with Dylan Hans' performance in, in that role in front of the back four, he played very well tonight. Yeah, yeah listen, he put in a, a really mature, strong, performance. He read the play really well, he broke play up at times, he was there to protect our back four, he did a really good job doing that, but Dylan can also play, so you'll see a number of passes that he played both short and long, um, and, and I thought he slotted in there very well tonight, it was a position we knew he possibly could play if needed, I think he's played in every position across the back four for us. Uh, since coming in and now he's come back in and had a strong performance in the middle of the park for us tonight. Looking at the second half, you know, Rob Manley there getting two goals against his former club. I think that's eight goals in ten games for Rob now. He must be delighted with his form. Yeah, listen, he's, he's, he's been excellent. He's been excellent from day one. I don't know how many times I've said this. One thing that Rob Manley gives you, he, he never stops. He's always a threat up front. He causes defence problems. He's brave. He'll run people. He competes. And he's dangerous. He scores goals and we're, we're seeing the... The product of the, all his hard work now, he's coming up with all them goals. And listen, two tonight gets us a trainer win, so we're, we're delighted with him. It'd be great to have Dean Bowen back tonight after missing out last week. I mean, Dean is a huge player for our club, so um, delighted to have him back. And I think some of his play and movement in that game there tonight was, was excellent. In fairness to Dean, you know, we had a long time off, a very bad injury, and he's getting closer and closer to getting that goal back. And tonight he came close again. And yeah. as every game goes on, he will build confidence, and eventually I think he will get that goal. Yeah, no, listen, he, he possibly had a bit too much time to overthink. I thought he was going to carry it on a little bit, and we see him do it so much in training where he might pop in and give the keeper the eyes and go across. And when he, he possibly took it a little early trying to go across the keeper, and, and, it, and it's gone wide. But it's great to see him back. Like the seriousness of his injury earlier in the year, I don't think people can overlook. It was a really bad injury and um, fair play to Dan with the rehab and the work he'd done to get back and our medical staff, Albert and Willie, they really put the time and effort in to, to get him back as good as we can and we're delighted that he's been able to come back and contribute for us over the last, I think that's seven games he's played in the last eight games. So really happy with, with Dean Bourne coming back and getting stronger and fitter and helping us out. I think the course of Cabo over us is over now, especially with an emphatic win like that. I think we hadn't beaten them in six games, and yeah. especially here in Stradbrook, it seemed to be always one of them bogey places we'd come to, but thankfully, you know, 3-0 win tonight and we look ahead to Cove next week. Yeah, no, listen, we, we've come here and it's been a difficult place for us in previous times. And there were a number of draws and obviously the defeat at home earlier in the season, so it's great to come back. Uh, and get the win and like I say all the more better after what happened last week so listen we have to move on now we have a huge game against Cove who are a, who are a serious side looking to try and get a place in them playoffs themselves so we, we do expect a tough game next week and it's important we prepare well recover well tomorrow and, and get a good week's training in before the game next weekend It was good to see Lido come back on uh, off the bench tonight and, and Niall Barnes especially as well but we have a think Sam Verdon out next week as well now and maybe Dean Zambra yeah, listen, we, Sam, we, we can't say, we're obviously with a with dislocated shoulder, and we've had it popped in with the thing. He's going to be a huge miss for us because he's a huge player for us, not just 
and um, with the goals that he chips in for our club, but also with his leadership and how he is around the place. So we, listen, it'll be a big miss. We hope that if the rehab goes right, that he can get back sooner rather than later. And if, if we continue to pick the points, we, we hope to, to get into the playoffs. Who knows? But um, with regards to Ian Zambra, obviously it was concussion he got in the game last week, and obviously he's been out all week, so we knew we'd miss him today. He possibly may be able to train later in the week as, as we go on and we'll assess him and see how he is for next weekend. But it would be great to have him back available or a skipper available for uh, selection. <laughs>